Was there any politics involved when you left the guided church of religious science to do your own thing? Um, I think that when I, when I left, there was a couple of things that happened. One, before I left, one of my students in my practitioner class was a part of a, a church in Fullerton. They didn't, mm-hmm. the minister had left and they asked me, would I come speak? I said, sure. I came and spoke. The congregation wanted me to be the minister. And I said, I don't really think this is a fit for me. I said, I don't mind guest speaking, but I don't think I'm to be the minister of this church. And they just bugged me. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll put my hand, hat in, 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 in the ring and see what happens. So I, I began to speak. The congregation, they filled out a poll and like 99.9% of people wanted me to be the minister. But this small group of people that was controlling the board, it was called the selection committee, would not turn my name in because they were saying things like, we can't have a black man as a minister in Orange County. The property values are going to go down. There's going to be trash on the lawn. You know, they had all these stereotypes about black people. You know, they're going to drive their lawns and put it, they're going to put their cars on the front lawn. And now, what unbeknownst to these people is that my students, two of them were on that board. Mm-hmm. But they thought that these people were thinking like them. So they would get in these so called private rooms and they'd just be talking about me. You know, we can't let this in, be minister of the church. How are we going to stop this? So I've graduated now, obviously, from the School of Ministry. My first ministerial meeting, I'm walking across the campus, and a big-time minister who I had much respect for was speaking. I could hear him through the window. He was saying, there's a travesty happening. We have to pray to stop it. And I'm there, I wonder what that is. He said, there's this black guy that's trying to become the minister at this church in Orange County. We've got to stop it. They're talking about me. See, and I'm thinking, wow, this metaphysical movement, we still haven't cleaned out the skeletons of racism, you know? So I walk into the room and I sat right in front of him, front row, and just looked at him, and he changes the subject. Okay. Long story short, I pull out of that. I just said, you know, I'm not, this is not for me. But I never was going to allow anything outside of myself to determine my destiny, which quickened me to start my own thing. I wasn't going to put myself into a position where a human being was going to choose me, you know. And subsequently, that church, during, had, when it had that big earthquake back then, split down the middle and was uninhabitable for a long period of time. They had to meet somewhere else. And the woman that they hired, they hired to move one really quick so they can say that they were you know, diverse and everything. They hired a woman really quick. And she ended up pilfering a lot of the money and leaving. So mm-hmm. all the things they were worried about happened. Mm-hmm. It was very interesting. But a few years later, they came to Agape and apologized and, and just they felt very sheepish and humble and just really felt bad, you know. That particular experience took me to the depth of forgiveness because I would not allow them to birth rancor or resentment or animosity in my soul. I wouldn't allow it. I didn't care. They said all kinds of things about me. They, I never graduated from the school. I had the top ever in history. You know, they, I didn't graduate. I did. And they started all these lies about me, but I wouldn't allow it to infiltrate my mind. And so I taught my students because they were mad, you know, what they were saying about me and what they were saying about black people. I said, no, and we're not, we're not going to go down that path. We're going to bubble up, love them, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And we're going to move forward, you know, which is what we did. If you like that video, you're going to love the next one. Click this thumbnail right here and I'll see you over there.